The harm that we humans do to our environment is undeniable. Even with the actions and awareness campaigns that have been gaining followers and having an effect, man is an expert in disturbing and, little by little, ending life on Earth. Among fish, there are some species that have an incredible ability to adapt to the new environment and are considered the most invasive in the world. The Mother Nature Network website presented a list of 10 species of fish that are among the 100 most invasive animals in the world. Like and subscribe to the channel. We're posting one video per day and you'll be welcome to learn something new every day. 10. Walking Catfish Common in Southeast Asia, the catfish lives in fresh water and breathes air. This species, by itself, is already capable of moving between different environments. As the name implies, the walking catfish, with its tail and fins, walks on dry land to reach other lakes or ponds. The catfish is also easy to adapt to other environments, as it has a wide range of menu options, as well as an insatiable hunger. It can eat from small mollusks, and fish to plants and algae. Therefore, this fish has no problem surviving in environments where it is introduced. Catfish can cause great damage to the economy, however, it does not pose such a threat to native species and the possibility of overpopulation. This is because there are some varieties of birds that are natural predators of catfish, exerting an important control over the amount of fish of this species. 9. Common Carp Carp are one of the species that are most influenced by human action. They were conceived to be domesticated and raised in captivity, but accidentally or deliberately and illegally, they ended up being introduced into natural environments around the world. In any case, the carp is one of the most contradictory animals that exist. At the same time that it poses risks to various natural environments, this species is threatened with extinction. And all this is the result of human action. Regarding the risk of extinction of the carp, what happens is that humans were worried about the destruction capacity and the intense reproduction of this species. To try to prevent the problem from spreading, wrong forms of control were developed. One was the solution of taking millions of carp specimens and making them fertilize with a deadly type of herpes virus, as well as genetically modifying them to produce only male offspring. Needless to say it's not working, right? These attitudes were probably taken out of desperation when humans were faced with the problems that carp could cause. And in fact it causes, because, among the damage presented, this fish feeds on sediments that are located at the bottom of the habitats, killing the aquatic vegetation that serves as food for other species such as ducks. 8. Mosquito Fish The name of this fish comes from two different situations. One is that its size is reduced and the other, and main one, is that it feeds on mosquito larvae. Then you ask yourself, how can a fish that feeds on mosquitoes be harmful? Well, the same wonderful feeling you probably had when reading this also had the Russians of Sochi, when they saw malaria being eradicated with the help of the little fish, and also a large part of the world's population, who saw what happened in Russia and decided to spread the mosquito fish across the planet. And the mistake was big. The problem is that, in fact, the mosquito fish doesn't just feed on mosquito larvae and even doesn't survive if that's the only type of food available to it. The other species that serve as food for the small fish are good and essential species for the ecosystem. And hunger is inversely proportional to the size of these fish, so they end up competing with some native residents of the habitat in which they are living. They are still troublemakers and end up hurting and even killing other smaller fish in the fight for survival. In most places where it was introduced, 
the mosquito fish proved to be less effective in combating mosquito larvae than native species. And these other species ended up being harmed by the mosquito fish, reducing the control of the insects. In other words, the problems caused by the mosquito fish are much greater than the benefits. In some cases, they even favor rather than inhibit the proliferation of mosquitoes. 7. Nile Perch This monstrous species of fish isn't just big in size. In 1962, when it was introduced into Lake Victoria, the damage caused by the Nile Perch took on absurd proportions influencing not only the lake, but the entire ecosystem of the place. The whole catastrophe caused by the Nile perch began, of course, with its introduction into Victoria, as, little by little, the fish was decimating the entire population of other species that lived in the lake. This is because it feeds on various types of aquatic animals, including other fish, even of the same species, and as it develops, its appetite gets bigger and the size of the creatures it feeds on also grows. In addition, reproduction is very easy. Not a single organism could survive the overpopulation of Nile perch. At one time, females released 16 million, you read that right, 16 million of eggs. Needless to say, it didn't take long for the animal to take over the lake. It is estimated that by the 1980s, about 300 species in the lake were already totally extinct. With this extremely impactful action, the consequences wouldn't just stay in the lake. Fishing communities and vegetation around Lake Victoria were also affected by the abrupt change in the underwater environment. This is because the meat of the perch is more fatty than that of the native fish, so that, in order to sell them, the fishermen, instead of letting them dry in the sun, had to burn them with fire. This fire was made with a lot of wood taken from the region, which caused deforestation in the local forests and annihilation of many of the species that lived in them. 6. Brown Trout Brown trout is a species native to Europe, Western Asia, and North Africa, but nowadays it can be found in all parts of the world. Its risks to the aquatic habitat come from its competition with other trout species and native fish. When there is no dispute with other types of trout, there is already evidence that they are related and reproduce, which may mask the native genetics of the local species. Its global spread was the result of a commercial movement in aquaculture that began in the mid-19th century in Europe in which its potential for farming and fishing was discovered. Originally, the brown trout is a freshwater species, however, it is easy to adapt to the salty environment. There are some conservation measures that have had an effect on controlling the brown trout population. Among these measures are restrictions imposed on the cultivation and introduction of the species in other environments. 5. Rainbow Trout the rainbow trout is very similar to the brown trout, not only in terms of its physical appearance, but also because of the harm it can cause. Competition with other species and the ability to bond with other types of trout are some of the problems that this fish can cause. In the case of disputes with other species, some have already reached the brink of extinction due to the introduction of rainbow trout into their natural habitat, as among others, in the case of golden trout. The rainbow species feeds on small invertebrates and, as it can reproduce easily, it impacts the population of invertebrates and other species that feed on them. In addition, rainbow trout have an easy incidence of whirling disease caused by a parasite, which used to affect only them, but now can harm other types of fish, including salmon. This species is native to the western United States, but, like its brown cousin, it can already be found all over the world. 4. Achiga Largemouth bass are fish loved by fishermen. 
but they cause a lot of problems wherever they are placed. They can also drive native species to extinction as they prevail and feed on other fish. In addition, largemouth bays feed on small birds and amphibians, so this species is responsible for significant declines in the populations of some frogs and salamanders in California and Arizona, USA. The largemouth bass has a wide mouth and its characteristic strength, which makes it prevail over the most varied species, is the same point that attracts sport fishermen. The hook of a largemouth bass on the line is exciting, and the fish does not give up the fight easily. 3. Mozambican Tilapia Mozambican Tilapia can also decrease the population of some species. For aquaculture, it is a highly sought-after fish, being one of the most chosen for captive breeding. The female generates several litters per season and is very protective of her young, maintaining proliferation. In addition, this species easily adapts to different temperatures, ranging from less than 10 to more than 37 degrees Celsius. Its introduction to new habitats, on purpose or accidentally, can cause problems as this fish feeds on any type of plant and small fish. The record of a specimen of this species in Dade County, Miami, USA, is leading experts to believe that soon this type of tilapia will establish itself in the Everglades National Park and will have a terrible impact on the native wildlife of the region. To combat the problems caused by Mozambican tilapia, some breeders are replacing it with Nile tilapia which does not negatively influence the ecosystem. 2. Snakehead This fish is a very intriguing species. Its damage is so harmful to the environment that, since 2002, it has been illegal to own a live snakehead specimen in the United States. They originate from Africa and Asia, but have a vast population in the USA, mainly the northern species, photo, which has more individuals spread out than the other three existing categories. Snakehead fish are at the top of the food chain and can cause decline in any environment they are introduced to. They feed on other fish, crustaceans, birds, and even small mammals. But how do they feed themselves this way? Snakeheads are capable of migrating around 400 meters from one lake to another looking for a new environment and can survive about four days out of the water. It is definitely one of the most disgusting and troublesome fish on this list, as it is capable of outperforming any native species. In addition to the powers, out of the water and being the predator of several species, these fish are more aggressive than usual during breeding seasons. They are even capable of biting humans if they feel a threat to their nest. 1. Lionfish Undoubtedly, the lionfish is a species that, by its appearance alone, would already be able to scare away any predator or prey. Still, they have an insatiable appetite, and their long fins have poisonous tips. This added to the low number of predators and the ability to eat anything that enters its mouth makes the lionfish one of the most aggressive invasive species in the world. Wherever they appear, these fish threaten biodiversity and the ecosystems they inhabit. According to the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, populations of this animal will continue to grow and cause problems. The agency warns that it is not possible to eliminate these populations in conventional ways, and it is practically impossible to eradicate them once they settle in some place. The problem caused by the lionfish could become so serious in the future that there are some solutions being investigated to try to control or reduce the populations of this species. One of them would be to encourage the consumption of lionfish in restaurants as a delicacy, and another would be to train sharks to become predators of the species. They could eat the lionfish without taking any risks, as they are immune to the venom when they feed on this species. 
Sharks still don't recognize you as prey, but they would with proper training. There are nine different species of lionfish, and all originate from the Indo-Pacific region. Two aquarium species were released deliberately, or accidentally, and established themselves on the east coast of the USA. From there, they spread north and toward South America. What do you think of these fish? Have you seen any? Tell me in the comments below. Like and subscribe to the channel to receive brand new content every day and check out the suggested video. See you 